Last night had to have been one of the most eye-opening nights I've ever had in my life. I can't even really recognize myself in the mirror anymore. You know, I just see somebody completely different. Starting off, I wanna say that this is not supposed to be a sad video. I'm really just speaking on my personal thoughts that I'm currently going through. So if you guys have been keeping up with the channel, you would know that I recently um, picked up the habit of vaping, which really surprises me because for the longest time as a kid, I was so against like smoking, drinking, any kind of substance use, I was really just so against it. Like it was, like I was the red ribbon week. Guys, make sure you put on your red ribbon. Like I was really like one of those guys. Living in Miami now and you know, the fact that I've drunk before, I've smoked before, really just threw me through a complete loop because like I said, I was just so against it. So last night was a really eye-opening night for me because I've said in previous videos that I wanna try and quit. You know, honestly, I just don't get any benefits it really doesn't help me other than i guess reduce anxiety or like anything like that other than that like it doesn't really give me any benefits so i was just thinking you know i want to quit this thing it's really not been it's just not really beneficial right and you know i was doing good for the first two days but then there came a time where i had a pretty obvious choice i have co-workers that i work with they all vape you know they do their thing you know and i don't judge anybody if you want out if you're out there and you vape whatever I don't really care. Like I said, it's just a personal thing. I don't, it doesn't bring me any benefit, but if you want to vape, cool. I didn't tell them that I was trying to quit. And I had a pretty obvious choice to say like, no, I'm trying to quit. I knew I was fucked up when I literally didn't even like hesitate to say, yeah, let's, yeah, sure, boom, let's do it. Now in the moment, I was still at work. So I wasn't really thinking of this. I was just like, oh yeah, let me vape. Did it, wasn't even thinking about it. But when I got home, usually when I get home, it's really not much going on here. As you guys can see, it's pretty chill pretty quiet you know it's a nice apartment but you know nothing's really going crazy here so most of the time I'm really just sitting in the bed and you know I might have my headphones in or something but for the most part I'm just sitting here just relaxing chilling you know so when I'm just sitting here not really thinking about it much and I'm just bored I have this weird urge to want to I don't know hit my vape my roommate Jerry if you guys don't know if you guys haven't been up the channel I have a roommate here, his name is Jerry, and we live together, and, well, of course, we're roommates, but we've been friends since, like, the third grade, so, like, we really just grew up together. He actually has his own vape, so I'm mentioning him because um, me and Jerry grew up low-key the same exact way. Like, we were both against, like, the drugs, we were both against, you know, using alcohol and anything. Like, Jerry, literally, I think he didn't smoke literally for the first time until he was, like, 18 or 19, or maybe even 20. I think he did it after high school. So me and Jerry started vaping here in Miami at the same time because at the point we were both like, you know what, we're adults, you know, does it really matter? It's just, it's one vape. Who, how bad can it be? I was just sitting here and Jerry had his vape on him and you know, I forgot that he had it, but when I went in his room to talk to him about something, when I, when I saw it in my peripheral, I can't even, how do I even explain this? It was like this overwhelming feeling of like a sense of safeness but in the vape at first i was really just fighting the urge to hit it you know because you know i i was telling myself you know i'm gonna quit even though literally like an hour ago i already did it like i didn't quit but i don't know i guess i didn't remember i don't know eventually me and jerry came into the main room here and we were just talking he was holding it just hitting it himself because you know he's not he's not i guess he's not addicted he says that i don't know but from where I'm at, I don't even know. Cause I think I didn't think I was an addiction type, but here we are. I was in my head so much battling the idea of not hitting it that I really wasn't even listening to Jerry. I felt so much, not even hate, disappointment in myself, you know? Because like I said, for the longest time, I was so against, you know, doing drugs and addiction and those type of things. And the fact that I'm sitting here battling me hitting a vape, like I I was just like, who who have I became? Like, who am I? Who is this guy? Has Miami really changed me that much? Like, I've made videos where saying like, yeah, Miami changed me, but I didn't know it was to this extent. I might be throwing this all like out of proportion. It's just a vape. As long as I'm not like ruining my life, I think things are okay. Like, since the, the fact that I'm still doing YouTube videos, I still go to work, I still make sure my shit get done, it might not be that big of a deal. But at the same time, for me, I just hold myself up to like such a high 
higher standard than like the average pro folk because what is being average in America? And then no offense to like anybody, but it's usually like being out of shape, don't make as much money, just not an appealing person, man or woman, you know, it just is what it is. We're like one of the fattest countries, if not the fattest, like it's ridiculous. So, you know, I just, I really just try to hold myself to a higher standard than like most folk because I don't want to be like most folk. I want to be, you know, happier and freer and live into a better life, you know? Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did fight the urge for a pretty long time, but eventually I did cave in. I just thought I didn't care. Like, I, I guess that's like the alter ego inside of me that's like, Todd, just do it, who cares? That side, he won. You know, he we hit it and I felt great. Literally, Jerry said like my whole entire mood changed. I went from being like anxious and like looking around and just not like spaced out to like literally just, what's up, Jerry? I'm back, bro. What's going on? Like, I'm bro. like, it was crazy. Like, I, it, it literally brought me back to like my senses, which I know is not good, which is why I say I'm disappointed in myself. If I stop posting, you're gonna see me at the car wash, just dancing. You know, I'm that's when it's over. You know, if I do, if I quit YouTube, I quit my job, and I say, you know what, I'm going back to the car wash. Reference if you don't know what the car wash is, so for any new like viewers here, there was a time on this channel, I was homeless. There's a joke that me and Jerry say all the time that uh, Ty, if you know, if you fuck up, man, you're gonna be at the car wash. Basically meaning we're going back homeless because there was this one dude that we saw, like, he was homeless. Um, well, we was homeless and we saw him at the car wash. And me and Jerry literally said, yo, at least we have our cars, bro, because that is worse. Being at the car wash and homeless is worse than just being in the car. So like, that's why we came up with the, man, you're gonna be back at the car wash. That shit was hilarious. But no, you guys ever see me at the car wash, you just know, I'm, I, yeah, I ruined my life, I'm sorry. But I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Um, you know, I do have enough discipline to like, if I see it ever like actually messing up any aspects of my life, I'm gonna be able to like fix. But still, you know, just having the fact that I have to even deal with this in the first place is what bothers me. And that really got me thinking about to myself, like, do I really understand who I am as a person? I never really saw myself as an addiction type of person. But Jerry pointed out to me that, Ty, have you not realized you've always been like this? And I said, Jerry, what'd you, what do you mean? He said, well, Ty, when we first moved to Miami, you were alcoholic. And I said, what do you, I said, no, I wasn't. He said, man, you were drunk every day. I said, what? And I didn't even realize it. Now he says alcoholic, but I think I only lasted like a week or two at max. I only bought like one, had one bottle of Bacardi and then like that one bottle of wine. But you know, I have to give him credit to that because you know, when I was back home in Mississippi, I did drink white clothes pretty badly. I don't know why. I didn't even like the taste. I just wanted to, I just, I don't know. I just like the feeling it gave me. Maybe what Jerry said is kind of true. Who knows? But then he said, you know, you went from alcohol, then you went to the nicotine. I said, well, maybe you're right. I've always been pretty addicted to something, you know? Before it was nicotine and alcohol. That sounds terrible, fuck. Uh, it, it was YouTube, well it still is, you know? I'm still addicted to YouTube, but before it was like anything, any substance, it was YouTube. I've always been addicted to that and I didn't really, really come to that conclusion until like last night. So I guess, thank you to the alcohol and drugs for the first time ever, I don't know. Maybe this is the one time in context where it could be a good thing. Maybe I somehow found a loophole, I don't know. There's some days where I just look in the mirror and I just, I don't see my old self. I just see a, I see a shell of myself or somebody pretending to be me. I don't know, I just, I don't know if like, that's just me trying to fight this new version of myself and just not accept it because this is who I am. Like just accept who you are. Or is this is like, am I playing a character? I don't, I, I can't really figure that part out yet. I do understand I'm getting older and I'm doing things that like, I wouldn't do as a kid. But I don't know if I'm doing that because I believe it or is that I feel like I should be doing it. I really don't even know like, who I'm supposed to fit in with. I try my best to fit in with people who, like I seen I can't really seem to f ever like quite get it right. It could be any crowd. Like, it could be like the nerds, it could be the fuck boys, it could be the chill person. Like, I I always f kind of fit in with every single one, but not fully click all the way in. Like 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 it was natural. If I can't fit in with any group, then what the fuck is going on? Like is it me or is it is it me just projecting? I don't even, but at the same time, I don't have trouble making friends. Like I'm a very entertaining person. Like you hang, you talk to me, eventually, yo, you're gonna really find out like I'm a very funny guy. Like I just enjoy talking. As you can see, like I just, I'm a very language input per That didn't make any sense. No, the air came on, hold on. Let me turn the AC off. I really don't know, you know? I don't really have all the answers. 
And the problem is I don't think anybody does. You know, if I ask my parents these questions, they wouldn't even know either. If you guys felt similar like experiences, um, especially if you're like fitting in with the crowds, because I know this, a lot of people like find a hard time fitting in and like trying to like be accepted. I know it's a big thing. I might make a video on that actually. Hmm, maybe. But uh, that's pretty much it. See you guys. I'm out. Peace.